They lined the beaches up and down the west coast. Dead seabirds, the majority of them common MERS. We took this video of the birds in Manzanita back in 2015. It was something caretakers at the Wildlife Center of the North Coast had never seen before. They were treating hundreds of birds every day birds that were emaciated. There had been die-offs in the past, but nothing as massive as this. This was, um, this was something that sort of exceeded all past events and, and continued to go far beyond what anybody expected would ever happen. Wildlife biologist John Pyatt had been studying the mass die-off ever since it happened. He says researchers counted about 62,000 dead or dying seabirds back in 2015 and 16, but he believes the actual number is much higher. We estimate that the total actually killed was somewhere between half a million and 1.2 million. Initially, scientists believed the birds died due to disease or toxins in the water, but recently they discovered it was likely a marine heat wave, also known as a warm blob. It was an area of unusually warm water about 300 feet deep and 1,000 miles long, stretching from California up past Washington. The warm water reduced the birds' food supply from the bottom up the food chain. The fish the birds needed to eat were not there. What was clear to us is that the vast majority of these birds, regardless of where they came in, they were starving. They, had, they were very emaciated. Pyatt says the warm blob also likely impacted Chinook salmon populations by killing off the food the young salmon would need to eat and survive. The good news, following 2016, the warm blob diminished. Pyatt says in the last couple of years, the mer population has nearly recovered, but the concern is not over. A new warm blob is forming offshore, and you can bet researchers will be watching it closely. I'm certainly not predicting. It's, it's you know, it's complex oceanography, but we'll see what happens. In Portland, Keeley Chalmers, KGW News.